So I wanted to show the difference between the most common microphone types and well the microphones that I have here with me right now. I'm going to introduce each mic type and the specific model a bit and then I'll show how it works. So what is interesting to at least me is how the different microphone sounds and how does the power pattern work. I'm not going to use pop filter or anything on these mics to show them exactly how they are and neither I'm going to use any analog filtering or digital filtering or compression I'm just going to show them exactly as they are and I'm using uh, Focusrite's Carly 2i2 interface to inter interface these microphones to my computer where I'm recording so we started with this bearing Behringer, Behringer Ultravoice XM8500 and uh, well, I'm sorry, I'm moving the microphone, the cable is not nicely here. So, uh, well, I'm also sorry about the that the light thing is changing a bit gradually because I'm running out of sunlight because uh, all the tech technical issues I had with the camera and uh, the lights, uh, all the batteries ran out. So anyway, uh, this is this Behringer uh, is a dynamic microphone and it has a, some sort of cardioid pattern color pattern but it's not specified exactly the, I think the medial is very short there is not much to it so uh, we we'll just have we we'll just have to try how it works uh, first I'll turn, turn, turn a bit and uh, you shouldn't see much difference this way uh, and uh, well we could start then go to the uh, proximity effect as I have heard it uh, this microphone should have a pretty strong uh, proximity effect so uh, let's see how it works and uh, then we can go further away and it should uh, it sounds more no I sound more normal and uh, it's not so sensitive so maybe you cannot hear me much uh, else anymore and then uh, let's turn it this way and you should hear me disappearing at least a bit uh, the problem here with this room is that I don't have a, uh, or the acoustics of this room uh, aren't that good like you see that wall is just like that there is no nothing covering it and the same it's the same on my front of me so with all these microphones uh, when we go the off axis you will probably hear uh, just echo from the walls not that the microphone itself is speaking my voice directly and yeah w like I will use this microphone for live like because the microphone only costs 16 euros so you can buy a bunch of these and doesn't matter if you break the one of this and you probably even cannot break it very easily it should withstand loud noises and uh, you're dropping well i wouldn't recommend dropping this of course but well, it's just checking or it's just by a bunch and you, you'll be fine okay and next up uh i have this tascam tm80 condenser microphone that has a cardioid uh, polar pattern and uh, well you can see it if I can start turning you sh didn't hear me much from this side I just should project the voice uh, from here anyway and then let's start let's try this I'll just turn this this way and you'll see how my voice changes uh, colors do the uh, off axis coloration and well I do need to turn it back because the cable here so um, this microphone uh, costs about 65 euros it's not so expensive i think it's very affordable microphone i wouldn't use this outside it's meant for a uh, like home studio that's what bearing uh bearing it's tascam tascam says um and um what else could i say about this microphone let's try this way uh it's pretty sensitive but uh, i have been having some uh, issues with the humidity here I, it has been like 90 percent here every day so I'm using a lot of silica to keep my microphones dry. Otherwise, some days I haven't been able to record it almost at all because the sensitivity just goes down with these condenser microphones. And I think we are done with this microphone. It sounds pretty good. At least I like it. it it's very clear. Uh, it's well, there are more mic condenser microphones that are more crisp than this, but I like the sound of this microphone. Let's get to the next one. So here we are back. So this microphone. Uh, it's newer NWX81 and it's meant for video working, video sound working and uh, it comes, well it doesn't come with batteries but it, 
uh, used batteries. It also uh, I have heard that it also supports phantom power, but uh, it sounds weird to me because usually these kind of microphones would not use phantom power, but instead plug-in power that is not 48 volts but something like 5 volts, I think. And so I haven't wanted. I haven't tried that and I'm not sure if I want to try it because it works just fine with the batteries as well. And um, what else could I say about this? Okay, let's just okay, let's start by turning this way. Oh and yeah, this is a shotgun microphone, a condenser shotgun microphone, and uh, it should reject somewhat when I'm turning it. But the problem with this is because it's so long, the rejection doesn't work as well inside. Well, maybe it work. Usually, usually the rejection doesn't work inside as well because of the echoes cause it to pick up the voice anyway. But let's see. So I'm still talking. Uh, maybe you can, can hear me. You cannot hear me right now. Uh, the idea is anyway that the microphone should reject the sounds coming from the side and pick up from front. And currently I'm in the normal mode of the microphone. The microphone has well three more switches off. Uh, it's normal and Tila. So uh, well, uh, let's go to Tila mode then. Uh, I'm not sure if I can switch it without uh, turning it down the gain, but let's just do it. Uh, I don't think it matters. Oh, there we are. So now, well, you can hear me clipping. So uh, it's much more sensitive this way. And that means I have to talk a bit further away from the microphone to not clip. And well, you can also hear the popping, at least I can hear it very well. And uh, now if I'm turning it, I think in this mode, the echo is at first worse. Maybe, yeah, I think at least I'm seeing on the screen that uh, it's picking up on the echo. So, yeah, I wouldn't use the microphone inside because of the issues with the uh, echoes, because the microphone is not uh, designed for uh, inside use and it picks up somehow picks up, picks up uh, echoes more easily than other kinds of microphones, but it's, it should be brilliant outside and because it should reject especially low noises because of the length, uh, like car, bus cars passing by and so on. And um, well, the microphone is only, I think it was 24 euros, so it's pretty affordable. It doesn't sound as good as any of my other microphones, but for the price and for w the purpose of the microphone, I think it's pretty good microphone for its price and well we can still try talking a bit further away and I think you should be still able to hear me pretty well but I have better microphones for longer distances so um, it actually feels a bit weird why it's not so good to pick up from longer distance than my other microphones well maybe it's the price it's just not so well made, but well, uh, tech mechanically, it's really well made microphone in my opinion. Uh, okay, let's continue. This microphone is the probably the most interesting microphone I have now. Uh, this is Behringer B5. It's a condenser microphone that has two capsules it comes with two capsules it comes with this uh cardioid uh, pattern power pattern damn i'm sorry it is clipping a lot now so uh, this cardioid power pattern capsule and an omnidirectional capsule uh and both are really really good in my opinion the microphone costs maybe 55 euros and for that price you get the uh, a manual, a real manual with this microphone, which I ha don't have with the other microphones at all. And it's super sensitive. Uh, and I don't know how the voice changes. Maybe there is proximity effect or maybe not. And there should be huge rejection if I turn turning it. Right now, at least I'm seeing it rejects. Maybe it's picking up a bit from the echoes from the room. The other feature of the microphone are that, uh, well, it has again a switch it has the normal mode but this doesn't come with the batteries this really needs uh, phantom power so in a normal mode some kind of uh, high pass mode that should uh, remove what the manual says it should remove uh, 
step analysis and so on and then there is a minus 10 db mode maybe i can well i'm not sure if i can switch to it here maybe i don't switch now uh well you get the idea it's just minus 10 db and it should be pretty linear and well i just load this microphone i'm not sure if it sounds as good as uh the task and tma clip but it's so sensitive that even in this humidity that i like it the most and I'm going to switch over to the uh, other capsule to show how the uh, omnidirectional pattern works with this microphone. So this is now the omnidirectional uh, capsule. I'm still trying to adjust the gain a bit. Uh, it's still very uh, sensitive microphone, even with this capsule. Um, and now there shouldn't be any rejection or it should be pretty minimal no matter where i speak from so what i have been thinking of to use this for is uh recording ambient noises or like ambient uh, sounds in general outside i'm not sure if the microphone is meant to be used outside but well i don't care one thing i'm a bit worried about is just changing these capsules it seems like uh you have to be really careful to not to not to break the microphone when you're changing capsule I'm not sure, maybe you don't need it, but it just looks so because of how the construction is. Uh, I cannot show it on the camera right now that well, but I don't know. We should Google it and check if anyone has had any issues with it. But I love this microphone. It's so sensitive, even though it's a contender microphone, even though I have high humidity here, like 90% right now. It's just super good microphone in that sense. And uh, I think this concludes the comparison of the microphones. Uh, yeah, you definitely should use uh, some sort of pop filter or these things with the microphones. All of these microphones will make horrible pop noises. Maybe the uh, dynamic microphone a bit less, but still, why not? It, it just makes using the microphones easier. You won't get the popping and, well, I don't think you lose much, it's just easier to work with the microphones. And that's all.